Well, hello there, my little goldies, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back for another video. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've made a video. The last ones I made were a couple of product reviews. Um, so I do apologize that it's been a little bit, but it's it's been kind of... Uh, kind of busy, you know, a little bit, but um, I wanted to go ahead and come on here. It's been a while since I've done this particular type of video, but I wanted to show you guys all my completed journals uh, up into the present day. Uh, I did one of these like last, oh my gosh, I want to say last summer, so I thought it was high time that I went ahead and did one again. I got a few new subscribers, so um, I thought I would go ahead and, and uh, show you guys because I have a, a few more to show than the last time I sh uh, showed a completed journals video. Now this isn't going to be my working journals video. Um, I have quite a few journals that I'm writing in right now for different subjects and different things, but I'm not going to show those. These are just going to be all of my completed ones that I've ever kept and up into the present day. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with my junior high and high school journals. Holy cow. Um, I didn't think I had these anymore, but I was going through some of my old stuff and actually found them a few months ago. And uh, I was thrilled. <laughs> I really was because I, I thought those were lost for good. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now, um, this one here is this one here just says diary and it's pink. Um, I got this for Christmas, I think, in 1985. And so I kept this one. This was a this is just a page a day journal um, diary thing, and I kept this one um, through the whole year of 1986. And it's just a page per day thing. Um, but I was very religious about writing in it every day, and I'm just going to kind of do just a quick little flip. Um, you know, this is it, it's just a little bitty, just a day per page thing. And so I was real religious about writing in it every day. You can kind of tell it's old, it's raggedy, you know. Um, but that's what this one looks like. And uh, that was my very first journal I ever kept. Uh, and I was in junior high school. Yeah, I'm dating myself, let me tell you. <laughs> um, so the next one is this little bitty thing. And this one just says, um, one year diary. And again, this is a page per day type thing and this one was um, done for the whole year of 1987 and I'm not going to open up the front cover because it's got you know some personal information and, and so forth but again this is just a, a page per day kind of deal and again I wrote in this thing every day I was very very religious about doing it just a little bit of a quick flip through um, I tried to write pretty small just because it was you know a little book but yeah so uh, I might be one of these weirdos and just kind of um, in another video just maybe take a few pages and read a few things that I have in there just so you guys can kind of, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I've, I've seen some videos where uh, some people have gone through and they've read like their old high school journals and they kind of laugh at themselves, which I probably would too because um, I haven't really looked for a while at what I wrote in here, but I'm sure... It is like really silly, you know, teenage angst, <laughs> but this thing did used to have a lock on it, but it broke off. You can kind of see that it's got like the little clasp thing on there, but I don't have the strap on there that locks it anymore. It's pretty old, beat up, you know, obviously, um, you know, this was from the late 80s and we all know that we're in 2021. So very, very old, very, you know, these old ones kind of fall apart. And this next one that I did in 1988 is... A prime example of one that definitely fell apart. <laughs> this one also says um, when your diary and it still does have the strap on it to lock it but it broke like it broke right there. You can kind of see just how old and icky this thing is but um, it, it kind of fell apart. You guys can kind of see it fell apart. So I got a, I got some repair work to do on it because I want to try to glue it back together but again a page per day. I was very, very religious about writing in it. There's my chicken scratch, but yeah, you guys can kind of get the message there. Um, so that was in, um, um, I don't remember if that was my last year in junior high or what. I don't remember. 88. Um, yeah, I was, I actually, I think I was in high school at that time. Um, and then this next one, um, let me see which one was next. Um, okay, I think this one here was next. Um, I did this one in 1989, and this is a real pretty cover. Um, it does have a few, like, extra things in the back, like it had some, um, 
and I don't want to I don't want to show some uh, personal things in here but it does have um, I think it did have like some extra um, pages in here for different things um, actually it's in the front let's see here yeah you got um, you got horoscopes so kind of give you your your horoscopes for each sign you have uh, birthstones okay you have flowers so this was kind of more of like a astrological journal I think um, okay so about diaries Oop, I'll cover that about diaries right there and then uh, I think it also had a page for gemstones and stuff too so flowers and gemstones and, and all that uh, which was birthstones but um, again this is kind of another like page per day kind of kind of thing um, I think I did do a page per day in this. It wasn't really labeled. So I put the dates in myself, but it was. It looks like some of the days I didn't fill in. So this was the first journal I had where I didn't quite fill everything in. But I was pretty good for the most part. Almost every page is filled in with just the exception of a few a few days. But yeah, so um, I did write in that one. And this one, this one is quite a bit more preserved I guess because of the plastic on the cover but um, I thought this was really pretty this is probably my prettiest one from that era um, and then this one here this this is a another one-year diary and I did this one from like 1989 to 1990 I think something like that and um, this one has this one was pretty nice because it has the gold edged uh, pages right there it has gold gilding on the pages and this is like faux leather it's not I don't think it's real leather but it's like faux leather but it kind of looks more of um probably the most professional of all the books that I had from this era and I thought it was really pretty and then um these these ones pages were labeled and uh some of the some of the days I didn't fill in uh there's quite a few that I didn't fill in but there's a lot more that I did fill in so I kind of went in spurts I guess like there was maybe a week or whatever that I didn't write anything and then uh, you know that's just kind of like what I had so there's that alright so there is all of the one year diaries now um, skip ahead a couple years actually quite a few years and uh, I got I just I used this notebook this was when I was in college and I think I filled this up in like three months. Um, I want to say this started, uh, this actually started, um, oh my goodness, March 18th, 1994. And then my last entry on this one was, and there's actually a couple pages that I didn't fill up, but um, um, August 5th of 1994. So like basically March until August. So um, a few months but anyway it's just just writing just writing just lots of writing here um, and a lot of the entries were more than just one page because I had a lot more room to do but um, anyway that's just a regular you know one of those like uh, um, you know kind of like what you would get at the at the st uh, store I think I got this at the college bookstore when I was in college but anyway there is that journal not too fancy but it worked all right, so now those were all of the journals that I had as a younger person. And so for many, many years, I took a break from journaling, did not journal whatsoever in so very, very long. I went all the way through college, um, um, through the, you know, the rest of the 90s, the rest of the, the 2000s. And then in 2014 is when I started journaling again. I picked it back up. I, I had just started getting into fountain pens and... Um, I had noticed all these real pretty journals and stuff and so I decided to start journaling again because I thought it would be a lot of fun to do and uh, and yeah and but I, I quit every once in a while I'd, I'd write some stuff up on the computer but I basically quit journaling because I didn't like my handwriting but um, when I started getting into fountain pens I thought well you know what better way to put my fountain pens to use so I started religiously journaling again now I did take um, I did have some spurts where I didn't journal for a long time. Um, I would just, I would say probably since June of 2020, um, I've been very, very religious about journaling every day. And uh, I've journaled every single day since 
June 2020, so I'm very, very proud of myself. But um, you'll see that when I started picking it back up again that I did have some, some stints where I didn't journal for a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started, and I will show you each journal. So here is, um, since I picked up journaling again, this is my journal volume one. And this is, I'm going to see if I can turn this light down just a little bit, perhaps. Um, maybe I'll just, I, I feel like I'm getting a, like a bright shiny spot here. Let me see if I can, I'm going to see if I can kind of adjust the camera just a little bit. There we go. We'll try that. And then if I turn, uh, that's not going to work. Anyway, um, we'll try it like this and we'll see what we get. Hopefully, hopefully we're not going to get like a glare or something. But anyway, so here is my journal volume one when I started picking journaling back up again. And so this is a live scribe journal, which means that this used a smart pen. Uh, this is a notebook that used a smart pen. And so this gets synced up with a, a note taking app. And um, so what you see in the journal is you get this in digital format as well on um, Evernote. So let me see when, now what I do is, and I'll show you, I'll show you what I do with the front of this. Um, actually, I don't think I put anything in the front of this, but yeah, just because it's got all the controls and stuff in it. But um, what I did, let me see here. I put some Dymo tape on this and I'm going to cover this one up because it's got some personal information, but I put some Dymo tape on that and it says personal journal. And then these are like some of the controls that the LifeScribe journal had. And then um, in the back, um, let's see if I can show something in the back here. Um, here's in the back some more of the controls for the LifeScribe journal. So basically you touch the pen to the controls and then you can do some, some stuff with it. But um, I actually started this journal when we were on a cruise, but um, here's what it looks like. And it's just writing, but on the, on the bottom of the, on the bottom of the page, let me just kind of put it like that on the bottom of the page, you have like these, these controls like for the pen. So um, if you needed to do some stuff with it, you would just touch the pen to the different controls and then it would like you could um, record like if you're taking notes or something, you could record like aud um, audio notes or um, uh, stuff like that. So there's different controls to mess with, you know, with the with the smart pen. Each page had it, but it's just, you know, this is just writing and I'm just going to flip through just very, very quickly because, you know, it's personal. But that one's just writing that consists of writing. But this is just a... Um, um, what do you call it? Just a black, um, journal with, uh, with, with one of those like, uh, elastic, elastic bands on there to, um, you know, to keep it closed. It's got a bookmark in it. And this one went, oh, I should tell you the dates on here. This one went from, and I don't think I labeled the date on here just because of all the controls on there, but this one started on, uh, January... 16th of 2014 and then this one ended on let me see when my last entry was this one ended on may 14th of 2014 so this lasted quite a bit um i did a lot of journaling when we were on our cruise um the first and only cruise I've ever been on, but that was a lot of fun. So I wrote about that and then I, it, it just kind of went from there. So there is journal number one, um, from, I'm going to call it my, um, older, older self journals, I guess, <laughs> because the first group was from my younger self. And then these are my older, older self journals after I've lived quite a bit of life. All right, so here is journal number two. This is a really beautiful leather journal from Barnes & Noble. This is called the Duchessa Journal, and as you can see, it's got music notes on it. Um, it's very careworn. It's leather, so as you handle it, you're going to see it kind of get um, darker. It's got a tie to keep it closed. You can see how thick it is. And then we'll go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you what I did on the front. So I am going to have to, I put some post-it notes on the front, but I'm going to cover one of them up. This is journal number two. This one started on May 15th of 2014, and then it ended on September 25th of 2016. So with this journal, you can see that there's a lot of time where I took a bit of a break and didn't journal because this journal lasted a really, really long time, but mostly, um, 
mostly again um, this is going to be just writing a lot of writing a lot of writing a lot of writing in here I did put some pictures in here of books that I read so I can show you that I just I just printed off some of the um, I just printed off some of the book covers so and just printed those on there a lot of Stephen King stuff I think I was doing a Stephen King six week Stephen King blog or something like that so um, but yeah just um, lots of writing you know just lots and lots of writing here a um, few pictures in here some of them not gonna show because they're kind of stuff I don't want to show on YouTube um, <laughs> I'll just I'll just kind of describe the one like I took a we took a picture of me when I had a sleep study and I was hooked up to all those like wires and stuff and yeah that can that can be a little bit scary I, I looked a bit like Frankenstein <laughs> but yeah it's this is just mostly mostly a lot of writing a lot of writing a lot of writing in that one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and tie up the string and um, I will be back with our next journal all right, guys, journal number three is this one here from Peter Popper Press. I think this is called the Blue Mandalas Journal. You can see that it's got a bookmark in it right there. And then the um, end papers, and I'll just, I, I'm going to have to cover up um, this little post-it note here. But um, here's what the end papers on this one look looks like. And then this journal went from... Um, this journal number three, this one went from May 21st of 2016 to... Uh, February 17th of 2018 so again um, this journal um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the page here this journal um, it took me a little bit to get through um, again I um, you know took uh, some breaks and didn't journal every day like I should have but uh, I did get through it and you can see that we have some silver edging on the pages right there and again this is mostly just writing Lots of writing in here, lots and lots of writing, just a little flip through. I think this might be all writing. I don't think I had any pictures in here, but all writing in this journal. But very, very pretty journal, and uh, it did have a label on the back here, but uh, when I go and use a journal, I peel that off because I don't want that sticker on there. But I think that this one was called the Blue Mandela's Journal. So there is journal number three. Okay, and then journal number four now some of these journals like um, I went back and forth between them because um, I what I did was like I started off in this journal here th that I just showed you I took a break and then when I was out of town on vacation I took this journal with me and decided to go ahead and finish this journal up and then once I finished that journal up then I came back and I finished this journal so you're gonna see um, that in the dates and I'll, I'll show you what I mean in just a second um, but anyway here is this journal and this is the journal I took to leader dog when I was training with Alex so this is a doggy journal and it's got like you know sayings from doggies it says wag more wine less uh, feel the love uh, seek the sunshine take naps <laughs> make messes um, this is dog wisdom journal um, live in the moment Give wet kisses, chow down, play hard, um, howl at the moon, <laughs> run fast, be a best friend, go for long walks, and dig deep. And then it's just got the same thing kind of on the back. And again, this is another one from uh, Peter Popper Press. It has the elastic. And then I'll show you the end papers. And again, I have to cover up my... Cause I, I have a sticky note that I put my address on, which I don't want to show, but there's what the end papers look like there. And then this journal started on September 20th of 2017 and ended on tw um, December 20th of 2018. So again, let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this blue journal had started on um, May 21st of 2016 and it ended on um, February 17th of 2018. But you can you can see that that with the dates of this journal because it started on September twentieth of twenty seventeen and ended on December twentieth of twenty eighteen that um, this was kind of like an in between journal like um, I started the blue one uh, got a little bit through the blue one took this one with me and I finished this journal up and then went back to that blue one and uh, and finished up the blue one so there's there's kind of like a little bit of a 
alter, um, alternating thing going on. Um, that one is just writing. Uh, some of the journals I do put a few pictures in. Um, I don't collage a whole lot in, in these journals that I write in. I do have an Omni journal where um, I do have a lot of pictures and stickers and stuff in that one, but um, most, most of what I'm showing you today is mostly just writing. Okay, so there's that journal. And then the next journal is, whoops, and we're dropping them here. <laughs> All right, so the next journal is going to be, um, let's see, let me straighten things up here. All right, so the next journal is going to be this leather antique style journal. And uh, I ordered this online a few years back, and uh, I really loved it. It's it, it's leather. It smells like leather. It looks like kind of a medieval journal. You can see the signatures in there. But um, this journal, and it, wrap, it, it has a wrap that closes it up like so, but you just you undo it like that, and then it opens, and um, like that. And then let me, I'm going to, let's see, I have it, actually I've got it upside down. I always get this journal upside down. I don't know why, but I do. I always end up getting, I always end up getting this thing upside down. Oh, all right, so it's going to go this way. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's going to go this way, and then it just, it opens, and I, I just put the slip of leather just, um, I just, it opens up like that, and I just kind of put the slip of leather just kind of over that so we don't see what I wrote, um, but this journal started on um, December 22nd of 2018 and ended on August 12th of 2020, so again, with this journal, I took a bit of a break and did not, um, I took a bit of a break and did not write for a while. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up just a little bit, and I'm going to try to hide, uh, I'm going to try to hide a few things so we don't see it, but again, mostly, mostly just writing in here, lots of writing. I don't think I even put any pictures in here, but it's unlined paper, very thick paper, and I just wrote in that one, and I'm, I'm, I just kind of flipped through these just really quickly because um, I don't want to show some personal stuff, but you guys kind of get the, the drill. And I journal with my fountain pens. Like I don't really don't journal with any other pens. I use my fountain pens pretty exclusively for my journals. So just a, a point of information that way. Okay, so then the next journal, and this one is gonna be journal number six. The one I just showed you is journal number five. So this is another one of those leather journals from Barnes & Noble. And I think this one was called the Tree of Life Journal. And you can see it's leather. It's really thick. So it's very similar to the Duchessa Journal. It does not have a tie or anything, but it does have this bookmark. I'll pull out the bookmark so you can see it. It does have this bookmark. And I'm just going to put that in the back for now. And then um, this journal, it started on August 13th of 2020, ended on November 16th of 2020. And um, like I said, starting in June, I started writing every single day. I have not stopped writing every single day since June. But um, this journal, again, um, is pretty much just writing. I'll just kind of do like a little flip, just a lot of writing, a lot of writing, a lot of writing. Um, I did put some pictures in here. There's Caleb right there. I got some flowers from Chewy.com when Caleb passed away. Um, so quite a few pictures in this journal. Um, quite a few pictures in this journal, actually. Um, but mostly just writing, you know, mostly, mostly just writing. There's cappuccinos in there. Um, I have books pictures of food. <laughs> uh, there's my nails when I went to get my nails done the one day. So quite a few, you know, a bit of pictures in here, but mostly, you know, mostly just some writing. Um, so yeah. Um, yep. Mostly just writing pictures of a couple of my, uh, my dolls, my reborns. And here's a picture of, um, Abby, my very first golden retriever. So yeah, quite a few pictures, but um, a bit of, um, quite a few pictures in here, but again, mostly writing. So there's that journal. That one I think I said was number six. 
The next journal is journal number seven, and it's just this little bitty one from Peter Popper Press. I think this one was called, oh my gosh, I don't remember what this one was called, Hummingbirds, I think. No, this wasn't Hummingbirds. I think this was Blue Wildflowers. It's either Blue Wildflowers or just Wildflowers, but this is a just a small Peter Popper Press journal. And let me show you this one. So here's what the end papers look like. And again, I'm just covering up the information that I don't want shown. And this journal started on November 17th of 2020 and ended on December 7th of 2020. And again, mostly just writing, lots of writing, lots of writing. I didn't even put any pictures in here because this journal was so small, but you get the idea. And again, I used fountain pens in that journal. All right, so that one was journal number, what did I say, journal number seven. Okay, journal number eight. Yeah, this is journal number eight, and this one started on uh, December 8th of 2020 and ended on January 10th of 2021. Um, and again, I'm covering up the, the paper right there, but there's the end papers. And then um, here is what the journal looks like on the front cover. This is a Disney Wisdom journal. This is part of the Disney Wisdom collection. There's what it looks like on the back. And this is from the movie Dumbo, and it says the very things that held you down are going to carry you up and up and up by Timothy Mouse. So there's that journal. Again, this journal, again, this journal, um, you know, mostly just writing. There's the end papers on the back, mostly just writing, lots of writing. Um, I think I, I don't think I put any pictures in here, but you can see the little characters on the page right there, and I'm flipping very, very fast, but you get the idea. Um, there's journal number eight. Yep, journal number eight. And uh, I'll show you the bookmark that was in there. Um, well, you can kind of get the, you get the idea right there. There's the bookmark right there. It just, it matches the journal and the pages. But there is that one. And then my last completed journal that I have is another Disney Wisdom one. Okay, so my last completed journal is also part of the Disney Wisdom Collection. This is number two in the in the collection. And I did do a, um, a reveal of all these journals in another video. I will try of, the, of all these Disney Wisdom journals in a, a video. Um, and if I can find it, I will link that video in the description section so you can get a closer look at, at these Disney Wisdom journals if you're so inclined. But um, this one, let me show you the end papers. I think I can do it easier that way. Oh, there's that one. So this journal started on, um, this is journal number nine. It started on January 11th of 2021 and ended on February 16th of 2021. So that is my very last completed journal that I have. And um, let me just go ahead and show, show you guys. Um, and I might have put a couple pictures in here. In fact, I did. In fact, I did a couple pictures of my Reborns. You can see that. A couple pictures of my Reborns. There's uh, there's, there's Alex right there. So mostly writing, though, but I did put a few pictures in there. Again, I'm just kind of flipping. And I did write journals with my fountain pens. So there's all my completed journals. And I'll go ahead and show you the, the one that I'm actually currently writing in right now. This is number three in the Disney Wisdom Collection. And... Um, here is what that looks like. You can see the quote on there. So here's what the end papers look like. And I don't have this one, I don't have a tag inside this one yet of when it started, but I actually started this journal um, on February 17th of 2021 and I'm still writing in it. Here is how far I've gotten. This is what I've used so far. And then here is what needs to be used. So I'm over halfway. I'm just over the halfway mark, but um, again, here's here's what the pages look like when it's blank, okay? But again, you know, mostly just writing, lots of writing. I did put a few pictures in there. Um, picture of Caleb. Picture of Caleb right there. So yeah, mostly just writing though. A lot of writing, a lot of writing. Um, but yeah, so... 
there is everything and uh, there's all my completed ones plus the one my my general journal that I am writing in now I'm not going to show my Omni journal in this video or anything or any of the other more like uh, specialized journals that I have but I'll make another video showing those and those are going to be like my character journals like my movie journal my book journal all that good stuff so um, that'll be coming up in another video but I did want to go ahead and bring you my completed journal collection as well as the journal that I'm currently writing in right now so anyway I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the like button uh, smash on that thing and uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded leave us a comment and tell me what you think of my completed journals tell me what you think of my completed journals and um, we will go ahead and I'm just gonna kind of show you guys the front of them again so like I said, do all that stuff if you enjoyed it, and um, tell me what you guys think. You all have a great day. There's number three. Number two. And then again, number one. And then, of course, my younger person journals. <laughs> but anyway, um, you guys have a great day, and um, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Okay, bye my little goldies.